Hi and welcome back to Basic Bananas TV. Today I'm sitting here with Niels Vesk. I think you've already met him. Hi Niels. Hey guys, how are you doing? Now last Friday I went to a seminar that Niels was running with one of our team members, Aga, and it was fantastic. And so I thought while Niels was dropping in today to our headquarters, I just grabbed him. I said, hey, can we share one thing you shared at the seminar? And he's like, yeah, but I'm looking all rough. And <laughs> I'm like, no, you're it's perfect. We, Definitely. You know, this is how we are. I'm looking a little bit uh, maybe undressed too in my hoodie. But basically what I wanted to share with you today and what I wanted Niels to talk about is something you spoke about, which was delighting, delighting your audience. Can you share a little bit about it? Sure, sure, Francisca. So the concept behind, um, I guess this kind of relates to persuasion. So how do we persuade our customers to um, do more business with us or to be front of mind and make better decisions? And one of the concepts behind this is to create unexpected delight to our customers. And um, at this seminar that was running, I was mentioning a few different ways that we can do this. And, a good way about thinking about how you can create delight is it's almost like you've got a $10 budget. And um, so with 10 bucks, what could you do that will be unexpected but adds value in some way? It could be around novelty, it could be that it adds value, it might have some emotional sort of um, nostalgia to it, but something that just adds a little wow to someone, yeah. um, to an existing client that you have. I love that. I love that because I, I think that, you know, the most successful businesses are the ones that are delighting and are adding value. And so maybe what we can do is when you, right now you might be thinking, well, but how can I delight? Maybe we use a few quick examples of different industries. So say if you are a plumber, I mean, you know, a plumber might be watching and thinking, well, how do I delight? You know, I'm cleaning pipes. How, do I, how am I going to delight someone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. what, that, what that's would a, be a good idea? That's a good example. That's a tough example, actually. Um, because, yeah, a plumber go, well, I, I just fix, I fix pipes and I might only need to do that once every three years with a client. So you think, okay, what's under 10 bucks that I can do that somehow relates to water or cleanliness or something like that? Um, Good example, for $10, you could definitely get probably a, a few bottles of that. What do they call it? Like the, the san hand sanitizing. Hand yeah. sanitizing yeah. type stuff. Yeah. And you could brand that in your own way. So let's say it's Joe's Clean Plumbing and um, say, hey guys, you know, really appreciate the work there. Um, in case the in case the pipes do, do burst next time, you don't have any water, here's some sanitizer that will help keep your hands clean and yeah. stuff. That might cost you $5, yeah. maybe a little bit more if you do some branding on it, but that, that's kind of one so, good example. So it's basically something relevant to your whatever you're doing. So it could yeah. be something that ties in, but we, even it doesn't have if to we, tie if in. We, if we kept going with plumbing, you could do something like you could you could get some branded uh, branded bottled water yeah. that you could do. It could be. Let's use it, another industry though. Or have okay. you got, I've just got, I've just got another one. Best thing, While I'm it? thinking about plumbing, I'm just <laughs> also thinking about water filters. Uh, you know, different water filters and things like that. So if you wanted a big delight, you could you could actually create a you know a nice sort of water filter thing and yeah. things like that. But um, let's use the service industry like okay. uh, an accountant or a lawyer. Again, how can they delight? What do you think? Yeah, it's a good one. Um, I, I think I think uh, accountants is a good one. Depends whether they're working if they're doing sort of your more lower common denominator um, tax return stuff, or is it more uh, financial? And it really okay. Can take and I, I guess what you can do with them then is, is you can break down the year into quarters. And so it might be, um, let's say, if you've got to get your, the client's got to get their stuff for their business activity statement, their BAS statement or whatever it might be, or quarterly repayment, there might be something that, that gives them a little bit of a, you know, like a headache relief. You know, you might send them a box of Panadols or some headache pill that goes, hey, look, I know that was a real hassle to get those best things done but appreciate the effort we'll make sure that the dollars are saved for you and you're not you know you know so something yeah make it make yeah it so it's it, like yeah. we know that we know that for you um paperwork can be hard work so that's why we sent you these little headache pills yeah. or it's not headache or pills even it could be here we have chocolate. a delight yeah. here actually and you can you know this is this is swiss chocolate that we're gonna delight on after this 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 video but it couldn't be to sweeten your next quarter we sent you some swiss chocolate for example so it can be really you can come up with anything His, so let's let's keep going with the account and, and let's say you're doing your own accounts um or you know let's say you you, you know you're sending off digitally this is sometimes nice to go old school is actually send your invoice with a very thin onus where i get very thin 70 percent cocoa 
um, chocolate because you can actually put it in the envelope without going to too much with the weight and it won't take up too much and I put my invoice with a nice little slab of thin chocolate. Um, Summer is not always the best but I always know that my invoice gets paid way faster than, than any other thing <laughs> It better at be all. good yeah. chocolate though. Yeah. But it's a good delight. It's a yeah, good delight. it is a great delight and it's unexpected. And I guess when you do that as a business owner, you you know, sometimes when you, it's the whole law of reciprocity, but you, that's not why you do it. But when you're delighting people, they will remember you. And it's really hard to then go and work with someone else if you are the one that sends me the chocolates or the wine or whatever it is. You can come up with anything you like, really. You know, one of our members, uh, he's a mechanic and I, he just serviced my car, actually. And then I jumped in the car and next to me on the passenger seat was a tube of lollies and it said something like uh, it's in in the ta in the little note to it it said something like since it's a little bit weird to for a mechanic to just give hugs only i thought i'll give you some lollies <laughs> so because he used to yeah, actually yeah. have on his invoice he used to have on his invoice free hugs from a mechanic yeah and so now he's giving a tube of lollies which yeah. is just again it's a delight because yeah. i go in there and i didn't expect to have yeah. lollies next yeah. to me in the car so delighting i guess is just one of the coolest ways to stand out yeah just some really quickly some other things that you can consider because a lot of this gets used in gaming design so yes. you know if you're playing a game digitally and then it's like oh you get this unexpected badge or an award so there are other things as well so rather than you know have to have something like the best client and you can have kind of novelty awards that it might be a badge or a sticker that you send out to people and it's that kind of just fun, um, you know, fun, crazy little things that you can do that add add to it. And I know you guys did this recently with one of your clients. I'm pretty sure you did a a funky dance and uh, oh, dance, the happy dance, the happy yeah. dance, and you just yeah. sent it off to someone. It's just unexpected, um, cheap. Um, it's either entertaining or it's adding value and um, makes yeah. Yeah, delights you in one yeah. way, shape, or form. Love mm. it. So find ways how you can delight more of your customers. And I would love to hear some of your ideas because I always thrive on hearing from you and hearing your thoughts and ideas because you come up with really great things. So post below or somewhere, reply to this email and let us know how you can delight your customers. We'd love to know and I'll share them with you too. Yeah, awesome. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching and thank you. Thanks for being here again. See ya.